Not only is this person a legend in the sexuality world, this is their very first time doing a storytelling event, their first time telling a story. So, he is someone that I have admired for many years. He has won the award of, from ABM, Transse Transsexual Performer of the Year. You may know him. He's on Netflix, y'all. Sexing, sexing the trans man. He is someone who talks at colleges all over the world and tells people it's okay to be who you are. It's a really important message. I want you to realize that this is something that's from the heart and special. Please welcome to the stage our final storyteller tonight, Mr. Buck Angel. So awesome, like you, you really rocked the house. Congratulations. Woo! It actually makes me proud of LA. It's pretty awesome. The San Francisco people talk shit about LA. I know that. Oh, yeah. Not like right on. <laughs> so um if you don't know who I am, you're about to find out who I am. <laughs> when I was a 12-year-old girl. I discovered masturbation, and that was the beginning of it all. The reason why I'm standing here today, actually. Um, I discovered it by gymnastics class. And what I mean by that is, in gymnastics class, you have a rope, and you get to climb the rope. And when you climb the rope, you get to wrap your legs around the rope and you get to pull yourself up on that rope. And you pull, and you pull, and next thing I know, I'm pulling, and I'm pulling, and I'm feeling this feeling that I never felt in my whole fucking life. And I was stuck at the top of the rope. For a long time, I was stuck at the top of the rope. Holding on, shaking else was looking at me like, what the fuck is going on? Come on, dude, get down off the rope. And I'm just like, I couldn't let go. And I was stuck at the top of the rope for like five fucking minutes. And I remember like, fucking love gymnastics class. I couldn't wait to go back to gymnastics. And my mom would be like, what the fuck is going on in gymnastics class that you love it so much? I'm like, I love gymnastics. Gymnastics ended. I was so sad, but what did I discover? A tree in the backyard. <laughs> the tree in the backyard was calling my name. It was in this part of our backyard. I grew up here in the San Fernando Valley. <laughs> if you picture the house in the San Fernando Valley in the 70s, and there's this tree in this little part of the backyard that's like hidden, and there it was, with one arm like this. And I swear, I swear to this day, it was going like this to me. And I just got that idea. Oh my God, it's kind of like the rope. I see that part of the arm right there where I could hang on it and I could wrap my legs around it again. And I could pull and I could pull. And I started to do that. And when I started to pull, that feeling came again. And there I was in the backyard every single day of my life. I'm a 13, 12, and 13 year old pulling on that tree and rubbing on that tree till I rubbed that tree fucking raw. I fucking rubbed it raw. Like there was a dent in the tree. It was, um, like I didn't notice the dent. All I noticed is, was that beautiful tree. So one day my dad came outside and he was like, what the fuck happened to the tree? And I was like, I don't fucking know what happened to the tree. And that was the day I stopped rubbing on the tree. 
because I got freaked out to rub on the tree and get in trouble for ruining the tree. <laughs> never ever was that mentioned again. Like my dad never mentioned it, nobody mentioned it. As time went on and I figured out how to masturbate with my G.I. Joe, my sister's Barbie doll, I would find anything and everything I could rub my vagina on. But I didn't really think of it as a vagina, actually. I actually did think of myself as a boy, and I was raised as a boy, pretty much. Then the dreaded puberty hits, and everybody in this room knows about puberty. Puberty changes everything. I was already, as you see, pretty sexual as a, as a child, as a 12, 13, 14 year old. But when puberty hit for me at 15, and remember, the guy you see up here was not the person I'm telling the story about, was a little girl, right? So now I'm a 15 year old girl, and puberty's hitting, and I'm growing breasts, and the dreaded menstruation comes. That takes everything away from me. It takes away all of my feelings of confidence, of my sexuality, of feeling like touching myself, any of those things, I just lost it. I lost it because I didn't feel comfortable in my body. So I could no longer fantasize about getting on the rope or jacking myself off with G.I. Joe or any of those things. It just wasn't there. And then I started taking testosterone. Game changer. Testosterone is amazing. Changed my fucking life in many ways. One of the ways that testosterone changed my life was it brought back my desire to masturbate. Prior to that, I could never touch myself. I never felt like touching myself. It was not comfortable for me to touch this thing right here. It was always so female. Testosterone made me feel so, man, it's so hard to explain except for you guys out there. Get yeah. that testosterone. <laughs> Don't let the women tell you shit about that stuff fucking rules. <laughs> It rules. So next thing I know, I'm fucking all over that thing again. And I'm rubbing it and I'm rubbing it. And I, I have to take my pants off because I now need to touch something that I hadn't touched for years. I, li I literally put my vagina to the side. But now with that testosterone, I grab that motherfucker and I start at just, ugh. One day, ugh, my fucking fingers went inside of me. And there I am, just fucking myself like mad and coming and going crazy. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I fucking came and came and came and came until I was like, and why would I get a fucking penis? And why would I take away this motherfucking amazing thing? It gives me so much pleasure. And I was like, I must be destined to be a porn star. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what the fuck happened next. But <laughs> next thing you know, I'm doing porn. <laughs> and I'm showing the world this fucking vagina. <laughs> and then comes the most amazing part of my porno career. Because this vagina that I learned to love, everyone in the world wanted to see. And I got asked to do a scene that had never been done in the whole world. Which is pretty incredible if you think about porn, right? Clown porn, gum chewing porn, smoking porn, cow porn, whatever the fuck. But there never was a man with a pussy. How is that possible? So I'm like, I'll step up to the plate. I'm the man with a pussy. So they asked me to do a gay porn, which is pretty fucking incredible if you think about it. A pussy in gay porn. Never happened. And there I am. Right. So the scene is me and two dudes who are like, yeah, yeah, dude, totally, man. We can fuck your pussy. Not a problem. Like, it's totally cool, dude. Yeah, I'm like, we'll just see about that. So we're like fucking going at it. And I'm like, I'm sucking his cock. And he's fucking me in the ass. And we're like, ah. And we're just going totally crazy, and I'm just like, this is actually kind of fun. And next thing I'm fisting this guy, and I'm doing double fisting scene, and it's totally awesome. And then the one guy goes, flips over, comes down, he starts 
eating me out. He's just like eating me and eating me. And I'm like, this is so fucking awesome, man. This is my job. This fucking rules. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. And then he just fucking, I never forget. He just is here, he's eating my pussy, and he looks up between my legs like this, and he goes, Wow, dude. They did the most fucking amazing job ever. <laughs> Right on, dude. I just fucking rocked it. Yes, I am a man. And that was the beginning of me realizing I'm totally a man. It doesn't matter what the fucking world thinks. That motherfucker was eating my pussy and he still thought I was a fucking man. <laughs>